Hello everyone, my name is Chris and this is my friend Jeff. Welcome to Life in 118 Scale. So this is the man cave we came to visit. My friend Jeff is right over there. Hey. Hey. So these are all your cars? Yeah. I'm at, right now I'm at 140 models. Um, wow. Almost most of it are customs or modified. And they're all movie or TV uh, related. Car, yeah. So how did you get started in that business? Um, by mistake. <laughs> Probably doing plastic models like everybody else. Yeah, well, of course, when I was young, I was collecting like little matchbox and Hot Wheels. And I lately, uh, when I became a teenager, I started with plastic models and uh, I just made like 50 of them. But it was gathering dust and the parts were falling apart after a few years. Yeah. And I scrapped them all, put, throw it all in the garbage. And then I've discovered in uh, 31 years ago, in 1990, when I started collecting, uh, I bought my first diecast model. And um, until like six or seven years ago, I used to have like 540 models. Oh, wow. So I needed to have like 15 glass cabinet like this. So I just sold everything and I've only kept the uh, TV and series team and movies. And I sold the rest, bought a real authentic muscle car with the money. <laughs> and uh, now I'm only collecting this. Well, let's start by this, these big ones here. So what can you tell me about those? So all of them are 118 scale. And that's the latest one that I got. It's uh, the first truck that they made a desk at uh, 118 scale. Mm -hmm. So it's a Peterbilt and it's, um, it's from, it's not from a movie, but it's exactly the same as the one in Joyride. Okay. A uh, movie with Peter, um, Paul Walker. It came out in 2003, I believe. Yes. So, uh, but it's a future pro uh, custom project I want to do. Um, I want to do the flags in my trailer from Knight Rider. Oh, that's so, cool. That's yeah. awesome. So I'm planning to build the uh, the trailer. Okay. But meanwhile, it's gonna stay in my uh, cabinet because, like I said, it's the same one as uh, Enjoy Ride. So, yeah. and all the rest are movies or TV related. So you got the Ghostbusters. Obviously, Ghostbusters. Which is my. Are, are those the uh, Hot Wheel Elite? Yep, the best version of Elite. Nice. Truth to nice. true to scale. You didn't custom them. Nope. They're stuck. They're stuck. Okay. So let's move on to the lower shelf. Yep. So, so uh, all of them are mainly uh, modified or customized. So you got the uh, the first five or from the Bad Boys movie. You got all three cars from Will Smith in each movie. You got uh, the famous Porsche that was customized a bit. Yeah. Uh, you got the Ferrari. The Porsche, you mean the, the black one or? Yep. No, the blue one? And the blue one as well, uh, changed the wheel to be uh, screen accurate. Oh, cool. Because uh, that model doesn't came with the movie wheels, so I had to buy two Porsche. I didn't know that. The correct wheels and is the, the interior. Is that a mini chair? Uh, yeah, I, I believe so. So these you, you customize yeah. yourself? Yeah, exactly. Wow. <laughs> So it's, uh, the Hummer was part of a diorama that I made, but uh, it doesn't fit anywhere, so I just pull it off and put it on my shell. Awesome. But, uh, and the Mustang is the one from I Am Legend that I've customized as well. The Cadillac is at the, how it appears, it's like the final scene when it goes through the bank and it goes, everybody shots at it. Yeah, so I remember broken that. Broken windows and all bullet holes. What, was that the car that Dan Marino test drove? Exactly. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> and the armor is like the way it appears at the end of the movie when it gets to Guantanamo base and oh, got all man. shot at yeah, after yeah. it goes through all the village yeah, downhill. Yeah. So That's super man. So every bullet holes and damage on the car. Uh, when I do a custom like that, I mean I take a fucking load of screen grab. Each yeah. bullet holes are at the exact location on the real car. So <laughs> awesome man. Yeah. All right. I actually bought the black Porsche. It's gonna be a, I'm gonna make a review of it in a forthcoming video. Yeah. Probably around Christmas. Is that the solid though? 
I don't remember which one it is. I think it's Norev, but I'm not sure. All right. The thing is, is that the it's uh, the uh, uh, European uh, features, so it doesn't okay. have the correct lights in front. Okay. And the rear bumper is not American spec like in the movie, so I had to make some adjustment. Okay, okay. All right, it's cool. So tell me about these two here. Well, well these three are related to Supernatural, which was my favorite TV show. Okay, okay. Uh, this one is a uh, interior built, customized. It's uh, it was from BOS model. Okay. And it was uh, silver, so interior, exterior are completely customized. It's a pimp mobile from Castiel. Wow. So uh, that was uh, tricky because it was my first resin model that I was customizing. So. Oh, it's resin. Oh God. Yeah, it's a it's a pain in the. <laughs> <ass> <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one is stuck. But um, Bobby Chevelle was, uh, I was uh, hired from uh, Warner Brothers, to make a sh long story short, Warner Brothers hired me to make five uh, reproduction of Bobby Singer's car, and that is one of the five I built. Wow. Uh, that's the sixth one I built for myself, the other five are at Supernatural Studio. So you got every crib key that has one, you got uh, the actor who plays Bobby Singer that has one, you got, um, I have blank, but there's like all the big bosses at CW that uh, has a, a Bobby Chevelle. And they came back to me, uh, came back at me before seeing the result and said, hey, we want you to buy, uh, to make uh, like 25 other models. My God. So I can do it. And it was a limited edition. It, it, it takes five models to make one. Okay, so so for a six model, I had to buy thirty other models to have all the parts that I needed because it's a scrapyard car. Yeah. So it has three Pontiac wheels and one GM. So you have to buy GMC wheel set. They are not available anymore, so they are hard to find. Okay. Uh, the steering wheel is from a Corvette 53, uh, 57 uh, from Burgo. The joystick is from uh, Chevelle Nova from Ertl. Okay. And I uh, got uh, the, uh, valve, uh, the the engine cover uh, that is coming from Nova's as well. So I have to buy like five models to build one. So it was... Yeah, well, it's, it's too much. I, at yeah. one point, it's too much. I'm not a factory, so... Uh... No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So... And of course, got Ford versus Ferrari. Of that course. was my favorite movie of 2020. Oh, it was my favorite also. Uh, I mean, what a great movie. I think I've seen it like seven or eight times already. <laughs> okay, I'm not that crazy, <laughs> but... <laughs> That's cool. They're not... They're, they're stock. They're, they're stock. They're not yeah. customized. No. I see something here. Oh, my God. This is from my favorite movie. Yeah, <laughs> National Lampoon Vacation. Yeah. Uh, it is from Greenlight. It is basically stock, but I've made some modification because the... Uh, uh, what is the writing on the back? It says, uh, I don't remember, but uh, Hunky Lips, I believe. I don't remember. It also. was a little bit light, so I've made, remade them. And I've put the correct luggage and I had some, I put all the ropes like in the movie to, so oh, that man. everything stays on the, on the top. And uh, the model doesn't come with the ropes, so I had them. The model doesn't what? Uh, the ropes that oh, the ties ropes. Okay, all okay, the okay. luggage. It doesn't come with it, so you have basically okay. all the luggage, but if you move the body, the, the, the car, everything falls down. So I've glued everything and I've put some ropes to be sure that everything stays <laughs> on there. And we have obviously the Italian job here. Yeah, all nice. customized except for the one that came from AutoArt. It came that way. It was not um, an official licensed product from okay, the movie, okay. but it is exactly the same as in the movies. I just added the license plate. And I bought two other ones to make the other two cars from the movie. I want to see the license plate. Oops. The thing is that the auto art is an S model and the other two in the movie are not. So I had to buy two other models to get the correct base hood and make all the modification because all, everything on the models are like an S model. So except for okay, the hood. Okay, okay. So I had to buy like four Mini Cooper to make those two. <laughs> Wow. And my absolute favorite, because yeah. I've seen these on the Facebook, and I have to be honest, it's one of the reasons I'm here today. I wanted to see those two. So what truck did you uh, 
Well, the start, base model. What, what truck did you start with? Yeah, the base model is from BOS again. Okay. It's uh, it's a Jeep uh, on show, but it's black and gold, I believe. Okay. So once again, it's a resin model. So it was another pain in the ass built, but uh, I had to, I had to have that model in my collection. So Twister is like a cult movie. I know. So, uh, <laughs> The Dodge Ram is not screen accurate because it's uh, dwelling in the movie and uh, you got yeah. uh, it's a king cab yeah, you got the yeah, lights yeah. on top so I'm, I'm planning to do it as well but it's not like an urgent project. But, so. You know what fun fact number 782 I bought this exact truck back back in 93 94 because mm -hmm. I wanted to do a custom but uh, I couldn't find I mean I, I don't have that talent <laughs> sorry <laughs> so I ended up selling it so that's really cool. Just to build the both uh, the two Doherty's in the back. Mm -hmm. uh, each one took me like 36 hours. So uh, there's about 70 hours just to build the Doherty's. Wow, 70 hours. And uh, as you can see that everything is screen accurate. Every details have been reproduced. The wires, the light, the radars, the weather thingy the yeah i know i, I mean everything's there the cameras uh, not missing anything yeah awesome. again many 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 screen grabs to get all the details on it so tell me about these well that's the one that everybody wants to buy from me <laughs> since i've built it of course it's the famous mudcut vans from dumb and dumber this is crazy, man. What, what's underneath that? What what base do you use? It's uh, an 18... Uh, the 18 van. van. Oh, yeah. right. But uh, the model that is in the movie, it's a Ford Econo line. Okay, so okay. it's not the same front. It's a little bit longer. So I had to build a front, full customized front. Okay. To And, of course, make it look like a dog in the movie. So now it looks like a Ford Econo line, but it's an 18 van. That's insane, man. Yeah, I had to scrap <laughs> my uh, fleece jacket to make this. <laughs> you made that from a fleece jacket? Yeah. Oh my God. So I want to buy it. Yeah. Is it for sale? Nope. Nah, sorry. Someone from Dubai uh, uh, offered me like 2,500 to get that model and I said no. <laughs> US. That, that's dedication, folks. Yeah. So this that's is nice. the Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean famous mini. Did you, make, did you make the uh, the armchair by yourself? Is everything. It, everything? Yeah, it was uh, 3D printed okay. from one of my friends. And uh, I found the uh, exact same fabric that it is in the TV show. So nice. everything is there. The mattress, the, the brooms, the, the mop, the paint cans in the car. Yeah. The steering wheels is wired like it is in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Got the brake in front of the tire. <laughs> Everything's there. Every little details. The, the, of course, the uh, the padlock on the door. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, there's the padlock. It's awesome. Then you got chips. The car is uh, custom, but I've changed the light bar. And of course, the two uh, motorcycles are fully customized. I wanted those motorcycles in my collection for like 25 years. And nobody are making them, so I made them myself. You made them yourself? Yep. Using what? Ah, oh, boy. Uh, Kawasaki parts, Harley Davidson parts. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Customized. Oh, wow. Yep. Because I recently bought a uh, police motorcycle because I want to build a diorama, uh, um, a uh, motorcycle showroom. Yeah. And I wanted to customize one of the motorcycle to be like Chip, but mm -hmm. I, I, after looking at some photos on the internet, I realized that, okay, the, the, these bikes are completely different. Yeah, and I even made the clubs in the back. Yeah, so <laughs> that's super cool. Uh, this truck, I, I don't know what that is. Fall Guy, um, with Lee Majors, and uh, that was the series that he made after uh, Bionic Man. Wow. Uh, in French, was a Cascada back in the 80s. Oh, uh, Stuntman. Yep, Stuntman. Okay. I don't know that movie. Sorry. It's a TV show. <laughs> TV show, <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> cool. It's quite famous. Every collector's won that truck for like 30 years. 
So is is this the uh, something uh, with Lara Croft? Uh, am yep. I right? Yeah, it's Storm Raider's truck. And, uh, but th this you can't buy this anywhere. Yeah, it is. Uh, it, it was made from Kyosho, but it okay. exists because of me, basically. <laughs> Why is that? Because I've approached uh, Kyosho uh, two years prior to the uh, release of this model. Okay. Because they bought the Land Rover uh, license. Okay. And they had a Defender license. And I've approached Kyosho because I had a contact back then at the factory. And uh, it was one of the head, uh, head guys over there in Tokyo, I believe. Okay. And I told him, why don't you make the Lara Croft trucks? Because it will appear to all Land Rovers owners. SUV owners and the the uh, the fans of the movies, the fans of the movie as well. But uh, the base uh, people that collect SUV are immense in in Japan. So uh, it, that, I knew it would be a big hit. That's right. Yeah. But they told me they don't know where the truck is. They don't know if the rights of the movie are free. They don't know if there was a lot of things to proceed to get that truck done. And we needed to find the exact truck that was in the movie to scan it. And I've worked in collaboration with Kyosho for two years before uh, making this truck. So uh, they gave me the go. I said, do you want me to take care of this project? I said, hey, if you want to do it, man, let's go. So I did some research. It took me for like two months to locate the real the actual truck. It is in a museum in England somewhere. And I've approached the director of the museum. I've told them about the project. They said, hey, send me the Kyosho guys. They came there and they scanned the truck. Wow. They made some maquettes. And uh, two years after it was, and this one is the first one built. They sent me for free as a gift for working on the, on the uh, project. So uh, I'm pretty proud of this because I've seen everywhere collectors having it in their collections. And hey, it exists because of me. So I'm very proud of this. Absolutely awesome, yeah. man. So, oh wow, you got the Jurassic Park G? Yeah, yeah I'm a big fan. It was one of my favorite. Uh, <laughs> it's one of my animal. favorite movies, also. Yeah, it's a franchise. So, uh, I got Batman's shelf, I got Jurassic Park. Yeah, so Batman every shelf. Batmobile that existed from TV show to the last movie. So, this Jurassic Park truck, this one is. Pretty much standard. I just added push bar and the decals on the doors okay. and the license plate. This one is fully custom. Uh, this came from uh, Mattel, I believe. Mm -hmm. But I've made some modification, add the antenna and painted some stuff. And uh, but the truck was already painted. Yep. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It came, yeah, but it wasn't like perfect. So no, it never is. No, <laughs> missing a lot of details. Those three are customs. Got demolition man from Stallone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we yeah. got uh, under Six on the Ground, oh, that I love okay. the movie. From Netflix movie with Ryan Reynolds. I love the car, I love the painting. It's something that pops out in the cabinet. Yeah. And this one is faster with uh, The Rock. Yeah. Then you get the James Bond shelves. Wow. All are stuck, except for the last one. That is uh, 20 Daltons. Uh, movie. Uh, mm -hmm. The car is made. It, it, the cutter is stuck, mm -hmm. but I've had it the roof because it has a, no, a convertible roof on the truck uh, on the car in the movie. Yeah. But I've added the missile and the front lights. I've added the the fully workable skis that folds in and place like in the movie. Yeah, yeah. And if you see in the back, you got the uh, the jet uh, engine that comes back. That's come out from the license plate. So uh, those are the latest uh, James Bond models. I got a spot, an empty spot because I'm working right now on uh, another custom models that will be on the one from Beers Brosnan. The BMW that self drive itself in the parking lot and it drives oh, yeah, yeah, itself. Oh yeah, the, the uh, 745. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. With the, uh, yeah, the roof that opens and I remember the that one. And, from, so. and the rest is fast and furious. I got the one, the, the stars from every movie, except that this one is fully customized because mm -hmm. I've made like the movie with the all the uh, the the seats and the uh, roll bars and the the uh, everything is a, is as in the movie. And the rest is uh, this one's customized. It got transformer with working lights, sirens, and um, push bar is completely custom as well. 
that was barricaded in the movie. Then I got the Duke of Hazards. I've, I've customized this one that I got last week. Finally, Boss Hogs Cadillac. I didn't do much on it, just added the plate and the horns, the bull horns on the hood. Well, sometimes it's just a small detail yeah. that you don't need that much no. to make it real. Because the diecast company, they, they do a good job, but they yeah. have they have to sell to the mass. So exactly. at, at some point they have to cut the cost. So the Flintstone here, yeah. what the... Did you, no, it's, it was from Hurdle. It came with all the, fig, the figures, but I think it was looking a little too uh, childish, so I took all the figures out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's cool. I love this truck. Yeah. <laughs> I love the movie Kill Bill. That shelf is like my monsters. They're all very long models. Yeah. Basically, almost doesn't fit in the shelf, in the cabinet. <laughs> yeah, the Cadillac from Scarface. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, so. Oh, this is a GMP Mustang. Yeah, that was some home improvement. Those are stuck. Uh, this one is fully customized. Green light made it after I, I made mine, but uh, mine is working uh, cups, uh, light on the dash, and the fully customized interior in the back with the TV screen and the computers, like in the TV shows, nice. uh, CSI uh, Miami. Those two are customized because they're from Cannibal Run. Both cars doesn't exist. I've wanted this one for like 30 years. I was tired of... Uh, waiting for the companies to make it, so I made it myself. From a BB Rugo? No, uh, no. Kyosho in Auto Art. Oh, nice. Yeah. This, uh, the Trans Am is a green light that I fully customized. And as you can see, the, uh, the Lamborghini has a 12 pipes in the back, like in the movie. The Magnum PI. The Magnum PI is fully <laughs> custom as well. Oh. Miami Vice. Miami Vice shelf. Custom, custom. The Testarossa is stuck, but uh, the Daytona and the Cadillac are customs. This is my Don Johnson space. <laughs> He's one of my favorite actors. So, uh, and he got uh, Nash Bridges. Nash Bridges, yeah. yeah. This one's custom as well. I don't remember Don Johnson driving a Beetle. No, uh, <laughs> I'm waiting for something else to come okay. up from him. <laughs> The A team, A team, Blades car that is fully customized as well, and the UV lamps in the front really opens the rear wheel, uh, the rear, the, the rear lights also functions. You made all that. Yeah, the hood is customized, the engine is customized, the interior is customized. Starsky Nudge. I had one of those, but it was the chrome version. Yeah, and I sold it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of regret it, but they... the rest is basically stuff. I mean, you got Vention Point, you got the Dirty Mary Crazy Larry, the kit, uh, the Knight Rider, but the Mustang is fully customized with all the working lights on it. The scanners in front, the interior, everything lights up. Wow. And a movie collector would not be complete without the nope. Back to the Future shelf. And I got all of them, except that they are all modified. Yeah, I can see that because yeah. I, I have I have those, but they're stock, and I I can yeah. right off the bat I see. I mean, the pole on the rod for the electric has been completely modified to look as in the model. Yeah. This one I've made rack to make it in flying mode. Yeah, yeah. And those two I've customized wheels because I don't know why, but Sunstars put some small wheels in the front and big wheels in the back. Yeah, I, I don't get why they did this, and, that, but, and that's the reason why. This one here is the only one I didn't buy because yeah. I didn't like the tires. No, so I bought two of each and I switched the tires to have four exactly the same. He bought two of each. Yeah, yeah so of uh, course. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> and I've modified the rails one so that the, the wheels will be a little bit pushed further in the car. So yeah, like it okay. is in, in the movie. And the rest is stuck. Stuck stuff. Oh, wow. This is rare. The car from yeah. the movie Taxi. Taxi. The, the, French, the, original, the, the original French version. This is something... Not that, the crappy American one no, with uh, Jimmy Fallon. That's really cool. And this is, of course, my main 
attraction from my bat cave, my man cave. This doesn't look 118 scale to me. No, it's 1 6. 1 6. Everything from Hot Toys. Wow. So, if people want to get a reference as a size, this is me next to it. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, well, it's kind of big. Yeah. Not too much you would have noticed. <laughs> Figurines also 1 6. Everything is 1 Everything's 6. Everything is 1 yeah. 6. Everything is the scale, Hot Toys makes everything in one six scales. So Batman is like 12 inches tall. Yeah, yeah. And you can fit Batman in Batmobiles and on Batpod. That is crazy. So, um, I guess you can understand that uh, Batman is my favorite superhero and director from the movies. So, um... That was like something important for me to have it built. I've custom built that cabinet. And uh, if you, for people that doesn't know, they never see Batman and me in the same space at the same time. So maybe, I don't know. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here is my paint room. So basically, it's, it looks like the place where Dexter likes to kill his victims and <laughs> tear them apart. Of course. <laughs> so you gotta put some shower curtains everywhere. Shower curtain. so yeah, man. That I don't spray paint everywhere, but uh, this is where I do my paint jobs. You do all your work with uh, paint cans? Yeah, because I found a way to paint and have a smooth finish, uh, just like it was uh, made by hairbrush. So. I got a technique that works well for me, just like basically uh, how they paint a real car, except that instead of airbrush, I'm using the same technique. And this stuff is quite magic for the clear. So this is work well? Yeah, this is the clear I use on all my customs. Oh. It's in incredible the work it does. It's a smooth finish, just like a brand new car. So you spend a lot of time here uh, breeding paint fuel. Yeah. So uh, this is, the place where I do all my work. It's like see. a photo booth? Yeah. It's a photo studio uh, primarily. <laughs> but I use it, I just changed the, the ground and background and put a white one okay. without any paint stains. And uh, But uh, that's basically where I do all my work. So this is the BMW from uh, yeah. James Bond that you're working on? Yeah, exactly. I just repainted the entire uh, interior be uh, screen accurate and then I will uh, do the um, the rear bumpers because I found out that I could I can make it work so it's gonna be sliding like this and we'll see all the gadgets in there so it's gonna be retractable like in the movie like I did on my, uh, my yeah, other yeah, model yeah. so I've already made my holes here to put the, wow. this, the retractable system uh, the wheels are a pain in the butt, and uh, we'll make the uh, rooftop that comes out with the missiles under it, and the working uh, saw that is in front of the badge. Oh, yeah, the I remember that. Yeah, it pops out and cuts the wire. Yeah. So that's my model. I got another one. I got two other models that are in my closet because I'm working on three models at the same time. I'm crazy like this. I'm also doing a Ace Ventura Monte Carlo from the first movie. Oh, cool. And um, the uh, GTX from Fast and the Furious 32, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I think it's uh, from the, the eight movie, the black ones yeah. that are tearing apart that everybody's like... Yeah, I remember. torpedoes with wires and pull it out in the middle mm. of New York. So those are the three models I'm currently working on. So Said something about Jurassic Park? That's, my dinosaurs. That's, that's nice. Uh, I got another one somewhere. Here. Yeah, hey, I saw probably. something interesting. What? You could you could do a custom with this one. You know, uh, it, was it in Jurassic Park no, two okay. or three? Yeah, that's my intention. <laughs> oh, that's, that's yeah, your that's intention. Why, yeah, because uh, I will do the Ford Explorer from the first movie. It's in, in my project because this oh, one okay, is Ford. Okay. And I got two Mercedes <laughs> here that are f for reprodu reproducing the one from the second movie. So I want to have the whole collection from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. So oh, cool! So keep me posted on that one. I want to yeah. see that. And uh, if people want to see all the builds I've done and how I did it, you can always go to my Facebook page. It's uh, Cuda Jeff Hollywood Customs. 
The link would be in the description box down below. Yeah, so absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Every every customs I've made and our photos uh, archived and uh, there's a making of on how I've built them step by step, yeah. picture by picture. So if you want to buy buy one to make it yourself, you'll know how I did it. So yeah. cool. That's pretty much it. So Jeff, thank you very much for having me. That was a unreal experience. Yeah, so you got quite a collection there. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty proud of it. Once again, uh, thank you very much for having me. I will put all the links in the description down below if you want to see uh, all the custom stuff that uh, Jeff does. And as for me, I'm Chris, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Audio Jungle.